All right, we're at Shooting Star Casino Paracon 8, and uh, with me is famed author, researcher, investigator, Nick Redfern. He's got over 48 books on just about every aspect of the strange and supernatural. And Nick, one of our favorite stories from uh, our listeners absolutely eat up are black-eyed kid encounters. And you've got one for me. Can you share that? Well, yeah, I mean, the black-eyed children phenomenon is like a really weird one. It, it's kind of parallels some of the Men in Black stories. You know, they, they dress in black, they look pale, they knock on the front door late at night, and they don't look entirely human, obviously, with these solid black eyes. They almost look like a human alien hybrid. Now, in several of my books over the years, I've written about the black eyed children. And when you write about something, you get feedback from the readers. And one of the strangest stories I got um, was actually from a guy in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, which is actually more well known for the Mothman story. Um, and he told me this one experience he had um, of a black eyed children knocking on the door uh, late at night. Uh, Saturday night and obviously like most people you know you're watching TV or something 11 o'clock and there's suddenly this bang on the door well what on earth that who on earth that goes to the door looks through the spy hole and there's these two kids there um, pale skin black eyes black hoodies and what was really weird he said that he felt compelled to open the door almost as if he was being mind controlled or hypnotized to, to open the door which he actually did and he saw his um, he saw the door opening with his arm but he didn't feel he was completely himself in control of what he was doing it was as if he was being forced to do it now he opened the door and unlike most of the cases involving the uh, black-eyed children he actually let them in for the most part, people don't let them in, so we don't know what their agenda is. But he said that what happened was that he was sort of pushed, not physically pushed, but almost sort of intimidated to walk back towards the couch, sat down on the couch, and they kind of just stared at him. And as they were staring at him, he started to feel weak and tired, and his energy levels started to drop. And it was like, like a diabetic crashing. You know, after missing breakfast, missing lunch, nine o'clock at night, they're starting to get the shakes and feeling ill and sick. That's exactly how he felt. And he, but he was not diabetic, didn't have any conditions at all. And he said that with hindsight at that time, he felt as if the black eyed children were literally kind of eating him, almost like digesting his, his life force, his essence. And um, suddenly he was able to break the spell and they vanished I mean when I say vanished they were literally gone and he said it sort of took two to three days to get over this feeling of just waking up feeling weak tired no energy and finally after a couple of days he came back to normal but he told me that he, he genuinely felt that the experience was quite literally they were they were feeding on him in some way almost like a like a psychic vampire and that's an important story not just because of the, the graphic nature of the experience but also because it demonstrates possibly the agenda as to why they want to get in the house it's not to kill us it's not to steal our property it could literally be, be a case that they are sort of parasitic entities that are feeding on us fantastic thank you nick you're welcome